welcome to Traytech Australia. In this video, we will show you how to set up an IPsec VPN tunnel between two Traytech routers using aggressive mode. Before we begin, I will explain when aggressive mode should be used. Setting up an IPsec VPN tunnel using main mode requires at least one fixed IP address at one end of the VPN tunnel and either a fixed or dynamic public IP address configured for dynamic DNS at the other end. In situations where there is no fixed public IP address, we can use aggressive mode, which uses a peer ID for authentication. Here we have the network topology that will be used for the VPN configuration. At the head office, we have a VIGA 2925 router with a LAN IP subnet of 192.168.1.0. It has a fixed WAN IP address of 192.168.100.200. This information will be used to configure the VPN tunnel. The router at the branch office is a VIGA 2860 with a dynamic WAN IP address, so it will change whenever the router restarts or the WAN connection is restarted. We will start by configuring the VPN profile in the head office router. After logging into the head office uh, VIGA 2925 router, go to the VPN and remote access configuration menu and select LAN to LAN configuration option. Select the first available index and enter the required parameters. Select enable this profile and enter a name for this profile. Here we entered uh, head office. Now select dial in since we want this router to be the VPN server. For dial in settings, we select IPsec tunnel. For the remote VPN gateway setting, we enter a peer ID that will match the setting of the remote router. The peer ID can be an IP address, an email address, or a text string. Now enter the IKE pre-shared key, which is used for authentication. This setting must also match the IKE pre-shared key at the remote router. In TCP IP network settings, enter the LAN IP subnet for the remote router, which is 192.168.10.0, and the local LAN IP, which is 192.168.1.1. Click OK to save the settings. The next step is to configure the branch office VIGA 2860 router. After logging into the branch office router, go to the VPN and remote access configuration menu and select LAN to LAN configuration option. Select the first available index and enter the required parameters. Select enable for this profile and enter a name for this profile. Here we entered uh, branch. Now select dial out and always on, since we want this router to be the VPN client. For dial out settings, we select IPsec tunnel. For the remote VPN gateway setting, we enter the WAN IP address of the head office router, which is 192.168.100.200. Now enter the IKE pre-shared key, which is used for authentication. This setting must also match the IKE pre-shared key at the head office router. For IPsec security method, select High, ESP, and click on the Advanced button. Select Aggressive Mode. Enter the local ID, which must be the same as the peer ID we entered on the head office router, which was test at test.com. In TCP IP network settings, enter the LAN IP subnet for the head office router, which is 192.168.1.0 and the local LAN IP, which is 192.168.10.1. Click OK to save the settings. The final step after we've finished our configuration is to check that the VPN connection is up and running. To do this, go to the connection management menu and check the VPN connection status. If the VPN is running, you should see something similar to this with transmitted and received packets being updated. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website www.dratech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at